Hi, everyone. This is Nahid Nenshi, Mayor of Calgary, coming at you from my home studio, my bedroom, with two of my favorite uh, Calgarian community activists and community heroes, James McCara, the President and CEO of the Calgary Food Bank, and Arlene Dickinson, the famous and important and very cool entrepreneur and philanthropist. Last week, I saw a video that my colleague, Mayor Jim Watson in Ottawa, had done talking about food security in Ottawa. And I thought that this would be a good opportunity to check in with James at the Calgary Food Bank to see how you're doing. What's going on, James? Well, it's been an interesting time for us. We've got 13% increase in the number of people calling us. We're still doing more than 350 phone calls, hampers a day. It's, it's a very interesting time and it's very, very challenging. What do you need from us? We need food, we need funds, we need patience. We know that we are in this for the long run and we wanna make sure that Calgarians have the food they need, not just today, but in the coming months. It is going to be very, very difficult. You know, we know if there's one thing we know, we know that this is going to get worse. But we also know that you turn money into magic at the food bank, that every dollar people donate can become $5 of food. So for those of us who can afford to give, here's a good opportunity for us to build up the community. And with that, Arlene, you've got a great idea. Well, I saw that same video that you saw where Mayor Watson and Harley Finkelstein from Shopify got together and decided they wanted to raise funds for the Ottawa Food Bank. And what they did is they went out and uh, with a video just like this and they asked people to donate. And what Harley did was he gave a dollar up to $10,000 for every time the video got retweeted. So I know a good idea when I see one, and that was a good idea. So I want to do the exact same thing here for the Calgary Food Bank. So for every time somebody retweets this video, I'm going to donate a dollar up to $10,000. And then I hope that people will see this, that it will multiply and grow and we'll get more and more people donating and that we're going to top that $300,000 that they at, we're able to raise and we'll get to $400,000 because nobody should go hungry, especially not now. Food safety and food security and being able to feel that you know that you can eat is so important and I want to be able to help. Arlene, that is amazing. It's no less than I would have expected from you, but it's very cool. But it's also a big challenge. I don't think I've ever had 10,000 retweets on a tweet in my life. And this I is it. Twitter a lot. <laughs> but let's do it, folks. Let's share and retweet this. But it's not just Arlene's money. Let's all be as generous as we can. James, how can people give in what I'm now calling the Mayor's Christmas Food Drive, part two? Part two, part two. Going to the calgaryfoodbank.com, we've got a link on our website. After you have retweeted, make sure that you also put down there that I'm retweeting, but I also gave to the Calgary Food Bank. It's a really great way to also share what's happening at the food bank so you know what impact we're truly having. That's amazing, right. James. Arlene, thank you for your tremendous generosity. James, thank you and through you to your staff and volunteers at the Calgary Food Bank who are the definition of essential workers right now, keeping people going at a really tough time. And to everybody, remember, these are tough times, but we're gonna get through it the way we always get through it, together. Remember, clean hands, clear heads, open hearts. Do everything you can to prevent, prevent spreading the disease, don't act like someone who doesn't want to get sick. Act like someone who's already sick and doesn't want to spread the virus. Act like every single person you meet is your 90-year-old grandmother. Do so purposefully and thoughtfully. Anger and fear and frustration are things we all feel right now, but we can't afford them. We have to be thoughtful and purposeful in everything we do, clear heads. But the most important is open hearts, and that's what you're hearing today. It really is an opportunity for us to step up and to look after one another. Remember what you're being asked to do is very simple and success lies in your clean hands. Stay home, be kind, and together we'll save lives. Thank you, Arlene, and thank you, James, and let's share and retweet the heck out of this thing. Awesome, thanks thank everyone. You.